Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, we're gonna we're gonna learn about uh, managing the triggers. So in the last tutorial, we talked about uh, creating our triggers and how our trigger functions. So we also saw an example using the company table that we have been creating since a long time now. And so we saw in case of triggers that if a person was trying to you know update its uh, location then uh, it the, the the new and the old values it was being stored in a new table for the verification of the database team so that they could you know actually uh, keep the changes or if they want to revert the changes they could revert back the changes so we saw the basic functionality of a trigger the previous time so today we're going to talk about uh, modifying and uh, deleting or disabling a trigger in uh, postgresql and specifically on a table so we just uh, get started by first of all renaming our trigger and how to rename our trigger if you want to you know actually rename the trigger so uh, we'll just put a command so we could just simply rename the trigger by the alter table command and sorry alter trigger command and uh, it is just an extension to the alter table command in sql so um, we'll just do it by alter trigger loc underscore changer so if you remember the last time we created the trigger named loc underscore changer so we're gonna rename it to um, and uh, we just do it on company and we just write uh, rename to um, loc underscore changer underscore renamed so we just run it and you see that it has been uh, successfully returned so you could see that uh, now we have uh, successfully created or uh, altered our trigger now i will show you how to disable our trigger uh, so that you know the trigger does not work anymore in your table so for that we could just use a query that is uh, alter table company so we just have to you know alter the table for that and we we'll just write disable trigger and the trigger name that is loc underscore changer underscore rename so this was the trigger name that uh, we, we just renamed right now so it would work on this name now so in this thing i would like to tell you one thing that suppose i have this one trigger that i want to disable so for example if you want to suppose if you want to disable each and every trigger in your table in your table so like if we have only one trigger if you have multiple triggers then you could disable all the triggers together by just using all here so if you use all here it would disable all of your triggers so there's no need to you know do it one by one so for example i have only one trigger so i'm using that if i use all in this case it would disable the one trigger also but i'll just show you how to disable a single trigger if you want to you know explicitly uh, disable a particular trigger so you could just write loc underscore changer underscore renamed so if you could just see that it returns successfully so we'll just try and put a value again so if you could see the last time we have a table that was emp underscore logs so we had only one log that is two mumbai kashmir and hina so i'll try to alter a log again so now you know we could try uh, out uh, selecting a record and changing it again and we observe that uh, it won't work in this case now so you could just do update company set uh, address equal to Kolkata where id equal to 7 so if you run it you see one row has been affected and if i go to this table now that is emp underscore logs you see that the row has not been added so this is how we disable our trigger and uh, so if you wanna enable it now you could just type in 
enable and run it you could see that uh, it has returned successfully and now again we will just uh, do an update company set uh, address equal to suppose Delhi for the same person that ID equal to 7 and you oops and you see that it turned successfully and now we check the logs so you see that uh, for Rahul we have an old address of Kolkata and new address of Delhi so guys this is how we enable or disable a uh, trigger so you can just see now lastly i would tell you how to remove a trigger so that is a simple drop trigger command drop trigger loc underscore changer underscore renamed and on company so guys this would drop our trigger so you could just execute and see it is done successfully so guys thank you for watching this tool subscribe for more and stay tuned